So this is it. This is the end of the 2D platformer player controller series. It's taken us about three years to get to where we are right now, and it's been a really amazing journey. I feel like I've grown a lot as a developer, and I hope a lot of you have grown with me. Thank you all so much for the support on the series so far. It means so much, and it always encourages me to keep working hard. I really appreciate all of you. But this isn't the end of videos, so after this we're going to work on the weapon system, but it is going to be a separate series that people can hopefully watch by itself to learn more about how that works, instead of having to work through 37 other episodes. So the goal for today's episode is simply to do a little bit of cleanup on the project and get it ready for the weapon system. So not everything in this episode may apply to you, but we're going to remove some of the weapon system stuff that we've done so far because it'll no longer be relevant in the weapon system series. So we'll clean that up. But the first thing we need to do is go ahead and upgrade our project to the latest LTS version of Unity. In my case, it's going to be 2021.3.11, I believe. Yep. So obviously make sure you have a backup of your project before you start this. If you're using Git, that is perfect. If not, start using Git. But so let's go ahead and just select our new editor version and say open with 2021.3.11 or whatever the latest version is for you at this moment. And then we'll just let Unity do its thing. Okay, so with any luck, the project should open without any errors. Now, the first thing I wanna to do to clean up is get rid of our old player character over here, which again, you might not have, but this is from before we upgraded to the finite state machine. So remnants of a simpler time, but we can just go ahead and remove him from our scene. And then we can come to our project files and come to our prefabs and we don't need him here anymore either. We're not gonna use any of this stuff again. So bye bye player. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna rename my scripts folder and I'm simply going to add an underscore in front of it. That way our script folder is always at the top of the list in our assets folder. I've just been working like that in some of my personal projects and I find it very helpful as scripts is one of the most accessed folders we have to always have it in the same spot. Of course, this is totally optional. You don't have to follow along with that. Next, we need to go ahead and clean up the weapon system stuff that we've done so far. I'm sorry for wasting your time with that code, um, but I promise you then the new weapon system is going to be worth it. But yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of that. So to start off with, let's come to our intermediaries folder. And so in here we have three scripts, this animation to state machine script we wanna keep, but the weapon animation to weapon and weapon hitbox to weapon, we can select both of those and just get rid of them. Now we're gonna start seeing some errors, but by the end of this, they'll all be gone. Next, let's go ahead and come to our player folder and then our player finite state machine. And then let's open up our player script. In here, I wanna to come to my Unity callback functions, go ahead and expand that, and then come down to our start function. So in the start function, we call this set weapon function on our attack states to set the weapon that that attack state is using. So we can go ahead and just get rid of both of these lines. We're gonna redo this in the weapon series, but it's gonna be done slightly differently. So goodbye to those lines. The next thing we're gonna do is come to our player inventory class. So scripts, player, player inventory. So in here, this script was very temporary, very simple. It simply held an array of the weapons. Now the player inventory is also going to work very differently in the next series. So we can go ahead and get rid of this class completely. So let's just delete it over here. Then we need to come back to our player class, open up components and get rid of the player inventory variable over here. And also in the awake function or in the start function actually, here we set the reference, so just get rid of that. Next, we can come to our player attack state. So in player states, substates, player attack state. So in here, I'm going to get rid of everything other than the constructor. 
so that our attack state is ready to be worked with in the next series. So including the animation triggers. Go ahead and format that. And that is that for the player attack state. Next, let's come back to Unity. And then we can come to our scripts folder and then our weapons folder. Now in here we have two scripts. We have our base weapon script and our aggressive weapon script. And we can just go ahead and delete both of these as well as the structure is going to be very different. So with that deleted, that should get rid of the errors for us. The next bit of cleanup we need to do is just get rid of any of those references where that was used on our player. So let's open up our player and take a look. The player inventory was attached somewhere here. So over here, you'll see we have a missing script. Go ahead and remove this component. We can also then come down to our weapons game object. And while the structure is going to be kind of similar in the next series, we can just go ahead and delete this completely as well. And we'll start from scratch. Let's come back to our project files again. And let's go and clean up our animations folder. So open up animations, and then let's start with our animation controllers. And actually, I believe this should be called animator controllers. So let's go ahead and fix that. In here, let's look at the combat folder. So here we have our base and weapon folders, which both have their own animator controllers that control the animations for the base and weapon game objects. We don't need either of those. So we can actually go ahead and just get rid of the combat folder completely. Let's just keep things as clean as possible and we'll make anything that we need in the next series. We can then also come to our animations folder. And then over here in the combat folder, we have the same thing again. So we have all the sword base animations and then all the sword weapon animations. We don't need any of them. So let's go ahead and delete this combat folder once again. Next, we can come to our sprites folder. And then we can come to our player folder. And in here we have another combat folder that has all these uh, weapon sprites. We don't need any of them as I've made some improvements to them. So let's go ahead and delete the combat folder once again. We can also look at this old folder and I don't believe I need any of these sprites anymore. So let's go ahead and delete that. Then we can come back to our player folder in our scripts folder. So scripts, player. And over here I have a folder called old. And inside of this, there's some after image scripts and then our old player controller. So I'm actually going to move the two player after image scripts into their own folder within the player folder. So let's go ahead and create a new folder and just call it after image like that. Come to our old folder, select these two scripts, zoom out so you can see what those are called and let's move them into after image. We can then completely delete this old folder. So as you can see, that's given us an error saying that we now have a missing reference to this old player controller coming from our combat dummy controller. Now this is another old script that we don't need. So let's take a look at that. That is in our scripts enemies folder. And it is this combat dummy controller. We can go ahead and delete that one as well. Let's actually see what else we have here. There is this basic enemy controller, which is the very first attempt at making a enemy state machine using enums. So don't need that one anymore. Gonna hit delete on that. And this combat test dummy is still being used. So we'll leave that one right there. So that's essentially all that we needed to do to clean up our project files. All the old weapon stuff is gone. Some of the very old scripts are gone. So I think this is a good place to end it. Let's just run the game and actually make sure what we have still works. Now, if I click, the character is going to disappear because we are going into the attack state, but there's nothing to take care of the attack state. It is just an empty state, but this is not going to change for the next series. So we'll leave it as is, but if we run the game and look at everything else, so we can still move, we can still wall jump, we can dash, we can climb up the wall, we can slide down the wall, and we can also crouch. Okay, so everything's there. That is going to be the player controller for now. So sorry if that cleanup was a bit all over the place. It was just a bit of a spur of the moment. Let's clean this up and let's get ready to move on with our lives. 
So with that, if you have any questions on what is happening with the series next, or if some of the stuff I did to clean up didn't make sense, just reach out to me on Discord, we can have a chat about it. And before I go, I would just like to say thank you to all of my supporters and wonderful people over on Patreon, and a huge special thank you to Cody, SM, Madger, Jake, Patrick, Itami, and Mike for your support on Patreon. You guys are absolute mad lads, and I'll see you all in the first episode of the Weapon System series. I can't wait, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.